your last video on your last Monday as a third grader. Language for today, Monday, May 11th. Last time I'll say Monday. Today in language you need page 181 out of your book. Page 180 is a review. Um, if you look at page 180, and you don't have to do it, but it's just a review. They're all remembers. So remember A is using proofreader marks. Um, for which letters should be capitalized. Remember B is writing your titles of respect with capital letters and periods where they need to go. Remember C is uh, reviewing common and proper nouns. Common nouns, a person, place, or thing. Proper nouns, name a particular person, place, or thing. My common noun is teacher. My proper noun is Mrs. Upchurch. And then uh, the little shooting star there, remember, capitalize the first word, the last word, and every important word in the titles of books, stories, poems, and songs. All right. I also want to add that um, either on Wednesday or Thursday, we'll be having our final language test for this year. So we'll be reviewing either tomorrow or Wednesday for your final test. So let's look at page 181. We're going to add to our list of study today homonyms, but let's review real quick. Synonyms or words that have the same or nearly the same meaning, like sick and ill. Those words are interchangeable in a sentence. You can also use a thesaurus and you can look up happy and it'll give you other words, synonyms, to use besides happy. Um, you know, she was happy when we ate ice cream. She was happy to go to the park. She was happy when her puppy came home. She was happy that, you know, so you can use a different word, a synonym. Antonyms are, are opposites. Um, we kind of remember an antonym by the first part of the word ant. Ants are small and we are large. And my example there is young, cold, uh, young, old, sorry, um, opposites there. All right. So let's look at page 181. Today we're going to add homonyms. Homonyms are words that sound alike or nearly alike, but have different meanings. Most homonyms are also spelled differently. So let's look at your first example there, blue and blue. Of course, B-L-U-E is a color. B-L-E-W is to move air. So these are words that sound alike but have very different meanings. There's a difference in the color blue and then when you move air, okay? Two, these have three different meanings. T-W-O is the number two. T-O-O -O means also. And T-O, use when T-O-O -O and T-W-O are not correct. Right, R-I-G-H-T is a direction. W-R-I-T-E, to make letters, numbers, and words. All right. So they sound alike, but different meanings. And they're spelled differently. Let's look at think A. Draw a line from each word in column A to its homonym in column B. So column A in the pink box there, you have fair, scent, not, nose, right. So we're going to match. We match fair to F-A-R-E in column B. Scent like a penny. We match that to scent, S-E-N-T, like I sent you some flowers. Knot, K-N-O-T, like you tie a knot in a string. We're going to match that to knot, N-O-T, a negative. We are not going to the park. Nose, N-O-S-E, means like the nose on your face, to K-N-O-W-S. Knows, like knowledge of, 
like she knows she's supposed to come home now, so knows, has knowledge of. Right, R-I-G-H-T, that was one of our examples, like my right hand, to W-R-I-T-E, which means to actually write. I write with my right hand. That would be a sentence where you would um, have to make sure you have the correct words and the correct spaces there. I'm going to let you do the purple box there on your own, matching homonyms. Think B. Complete each sentence by choosing the correct homonym in the parentheses. Number one, David didn't write Psalm 23. Which one would we choose there? W-R-I-T-E, correct. We'll do one more together. Number two, we've had several deer in our yard. D-E-A-R or D-E-E-R? Which one is the animal? D-E-E-R, that's correct. I'll let you do three through six on your own. Then you have think C. Draw lines to connect the homonym with its meaning. So you have one, O-N-E. Number two is one, W-O-N-E. Number three is S-E-E-C. And number four is S-E-A-C. So you're matching them to their definition. So that's a quick study of homonyms there. So synonyms, same. Antonyms, opposite. Homonyms, sound alike or nearly alike, but have different meanings and are usually spelled different. If you have any questions about those, please let me know. But um, page 181 is your assignment today. Guys, that's it. Oh my goodness, your last Monday done. Oh, so join me back tomorrow for Tuesday. We just have a couple of things to finish up, finish up just a little couple of quizzes or tests or whatever it is we need to do. But guys, thank you. Thank you for being with me today. Finish up your work and enjoy your day. And I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday. Oh, I'm so excited. Hope you have a good day.